Rian, what are you taking us today? Well, Deborah, can you believe it was 20 years ago that the Truth and Reconciliation hearings began? Let me take you back. Good evening. Goeienaand. Dumelang. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission began work today with its first formal hearing in East London. The commission, which is chaired by Archbishop Desmond Tutu, is expected to hear thousands of witness accounts from victims of apartheid, as well as its perpetrators. I'm honoured to be joined now by TRC Chairman Archbishop Tutu. Hi, Rian, and, and uh, thank you for such a warm welcome. Ugh, only a pleasure. Now, Archbishop, it sounds like the TRC hearings are going to be a monumental and gruelling task. Oh, yes, they certainly will, but, you know, it's no different to what I usually do. Uh, you see, Vrachis, I must say I admire your dedication and commitment, Archbishop. Well, at least I know for sure that it won't be boring, you know. Apartheid has always had a way of, 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 of keeping me awake. And thank goodness for that. Now, Archbishop, another task of the TRC is to hear witnesses who committed crimes in defense of apartheid and consider their applications for amnesty. Don't you worry that this might anger apartheid's victims? We must all learn how to forgive Rian so that we can get along with building our beautiful rainbow nation. So would you say forgive Pierre Buta, for example? Well, yes, you know, if he applies for amnesty, I would find it in my heart to, to forgive him. Or Magnus Malan. Uh, yes, I suppose it would be in the, the spirit of reconciliation. Mm, I've for... got a whole list here, Archbishop. F.W. de Klerk, Wouter Basson, Eugene Treblanche. You know, I, I think I just need a little light down. Les Bridges? I, I, I just think if I can just Adrian close Flock. my eyes for, for a Bukbuta. few minutes. Stoffel van der Merwe. Better...